Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Rogg, a part of Canada International Student Magazine. I'll be introducing you as Abby Eiking, who is a student at Monroe Academy, as well as interviewing Louise Favreau. Yes, okay, so as you said, my name is Abby Eiking, and I'm a grade 10 student here at Monroe. Um, I'm a huge fan of the beach and I love ice cream and I've been going to Monroe since September 2022. Why did you decide to pursue the IVCP Medical Sciences pathway? Um, I chose this particular aspect of the IB program because ever since I was a little girl, I knew I wanted to help others and I always thought being a doctor or something in the medical field was the perfect way I could do so. That being said, I decided to take the step to join the IB program in hopes it will further my knowledge about different opportunities and give me more of an insight on what a job in the health care profession will be like, while also helping me with the best academic grades I can get. What sets Monroe Academy apart from other schools, in your opinion? There are many things that make Monroe the best place for me, but some of the reasons are that it not only has a one to nine ratio of teachers to students, so everyone gets the help they need, lots of opportunities, and a good understanding of all the material that is being taught. Also, the teachers and staff care so much about the students' well-being, whether that be if someone has something going on at home, if someone needs a little help, or even just a break. Monroe has more than just a great academic program, but also has many fun activities such as class clash events. And what a class clash event, what we have here is all the classes having a friendly competition um, to earn points and win a prize at the end of the year. And so to close that, I would guess, I would say Monroe is a very inclusive and welcoming place and everyone here are such great people. Use three words to describe what kind of students you are. I would say I'm outgoing and curious and I'm, I would say I'm an overall happy student. What is your strength as a student? Well, as my principal says, I'm a very hard worker, but um, I'm also a great problem solver and I love talking to people and making new friends. Where do you hope this program leads you in the future? I hope this program helps me get into a good university. I know the IB program certificate looks very good on applications and I'm hoping it gets me into university and then helps me get a good job in the medical field in the future. Uh, what advice do you have for students new to Monroe Academy? My advice would be just to put yourself out there and ask lots of questions. There's great people here that will answer all of them, talk to new people, and that high school goes by very quick, so just to make the most of it. Um, so, uh, we would like to transition to Miss Louise Favreau, who is the IB Program Coordinator. Uh, hello, Louise. Thank you Hi. very much for being here. What are the advantages of the IB program for international students? So the IB is a globally recognized educational community and it represents nearly 2 million students in 160 countries. It is internationally oriented education. It encourages international mindedness. It works within global contexts. It includes learning of languages and promotes awareness of cultures. It explores globally significant ideas and issues and it prepares students to be active participants in a global society. Um, the global nature of IB eases the transition for students who move frequently from school to school or from one country to another. And it's internationally recognized, which is an advantage for international students applying to universities anywhere in the world. What makes Monroe Academy's IB program unique? Well, we're the only school offering the career-related CP program in the region, and there's only a few in the country. Um, I'm providing a visual that will show you our program at a glance. Um, students choose one of four great pathways which Monroe Academy has selected that's appropriate to our region. So we've got business management, childhood development, international students, and as Abby said, medical sciences. And so students gain work experiences over two years in one of these four areas and they take two IB courses, and they also take one or two dual enrollment university courses. They complete 25 hours a year of service learning within the community, and they learn a new language as well. 
and the overall experience provides the graduates with well-rounded academic and applied experience and sets them apart, giving them amazing, amazing university entrance options. And we're also a private school, which means we have more flexibility with time and support needed for all students. We have a better student teacher ratio. As Abby said, we have small class sizes and the school has a Christian worldview, which fits beautifully with IB philosophy. And, and our overall environment is warm, relaxed, accepting, and even character building. How does the IB program help uh, prepare students for university? So it's academically rigorous and it helps students develop a unique set of skills and attitudes and perspectives needed to succeed in university and in life beyond. Students learn more efficiently and independently and that allows them to become more confident. And that means they're more likely to perform well academically and often they, they are better prepared than students that come to university from other programs. It certainly increases the chances of getting into the university of choice and the work placements allow students to apply learning to real world settings. And that's also a plus. Um, Monroe IB graduates have completed university courses, so they're already ahead of the game because they've taken a couple. And IB students typically find their first year of university much easier than non-IB students. You can always pick them out. They're, they're ready to go. They've done so much in their program that when they get to first university, they usually do really well compared to other students. What study paths can the IB uh, CB program lead to? So it's a broad program. It can lead to university and also to other post-secondary institutions. It could even lead, lead to apprenticeships and students could actually just work, simply work because of the work experience they've already achieved. What challenges do international students face when studying in an IB program and what special resources are available to support international students in the IB program? So certainly international students are adapting to a new country, new culture, new school, which is often different from the student's previous school in terms of curriculum, philosophy, and overall approach. And Monroe has a highly supportive international student team that ensures that our students can adjust effectively and even thrive. New students are well integrated within the school. Um, learning English is another challenge, but uh, Monroe Academy has a really good, robust ELL support up to 80 minutes a day by trained ELL teachers. And some international students are not only away from their home, but also their families. So Monroe Academy helps international students to find homestay families who provide a caring and supportive home environment for them. How does Monroe Academy help to bridge cultural differences and create a safe and welcoming learning environment for all students? So Monroe Academy is located on beautiful Cape Breton Island, which is ranked the number one island destination in Canada for year after year, especially this year. Um, and our community is safe and welcoming to newcomers from around the world. It's a beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful location. Um, Monroe's vibrant international student program provides international students with a warm welcome to Canada. Students are paired with a caring homestay for that authentic Canadian experience. And international and local students connect through special conversation cafes. And international students take part in fun activities facilitated by the school, like tourist trips and a tour of universities and other things like that. And uh, for those who are watching today's video, if you would like to learn more about uh, schools that we interview, you can always check out our social media, uh, such as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Or remember also to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we post videos uh, on cultural or education videos such as this. Thank you very much, and we will see you in the next video.